Today is October 17th, on which we commemorate Ignatius, Bishop of Antioch and Martyr. One pious legend says that Ignatius was among the children blessed by Jesus himself in the famous Gospel story. More reliable tradition tells us that he was a student of the Apostle John and that Peter himself had left instructions that Ignatius secede him as leader of the church in Antioch. The third bishop of Syrian Antioch, Ignatius was arrested in that city in the early years of the second century and taken to Rome for trial. He spent his journey to Rome writing letters. Ignatius stands at a key juncture in Christian history. He provides a link between the apostles and the later church fathers. Written long before the New Testament took its final shape, the letters Ignatius composed on his way to Rome mark some of the earliest explanations of concepts that would later form key Christian doctrines. We can gain from Ignatius a secondary look into the mind of the apostles, their own interpretations of the scriptures, as well as their thinking on issues that are not totally explicit in the canonical writings. Seven authentic letters of Ignatius survive, and much can be learned from them. It is clear that he knew of the writings of Paul, Peter, and John, and even quotes and paraphrases from them. He is the first outside the scriptures to clearly articulate the divinity of Christ, the first to assert that for Christians, observance of the Sabbath on Saturday had been replaced by observance of the Lord's Day on Sunday, and the first to use the term Catholic, meaning universal or complete, to describe the Church. He defends the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, and stresses that the fullness of Christian ministry is found in the threefold structure of deacons, priests, and bishop. Ignatius died a martyr in the Circus Maximus on this day in about the year A.D. 115. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise your name for your bishop and martyr Ignatius of Antioch, who offered himself as grain to be ground in the teeth of wild beasts that he might present to you the pure bread of sacrifice. Accept, we pray, the willing tribute of our lives, and give us a share in the pure and spotless offering of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.